What's going on guys, before we get into this Battle Royale video of Fear the Wolves Beta, I wanted to discuss with you if you think Battle Royale games are dying, and then I'm going to give you my theory. I want this to be an open discussion in the comment section down below, and be sure to be nice of course. But in my theory, Battle Royale games have been on a relative downtrend. Nothing drastic, and obviously it's hard to see a downtrend when new players are coming into the games every single day. If you add a million people and half a million people leave, it's an uptrend. The two Battle Royale games that I'm going to be mainly talking about are PUBG and Fortnite, the kings of the game right now. And I think the two separations of them and why they both still have player bases and how they coexist together is their gameplay orientation. Obviously, Fortnite being a little bit more cartoony with the building and whatnot, and PUBG being more towards the military simulation. In my opinion, the only way that Battle Royale games will be dethroned as the number one type of game being released right now is if they stop releasing them. I think Fortnite and PUBG are still alive because of all these really, really bad Battle Royale games that keep being released. People play these games and then instantly remember how much better PUBG and Fortnite were compared to them, and then they go back, adding to their player base, they get friends to play with them, and eventually they just kind of snowball. So as you guys know, Fortnite is very hard to, to check a trend. You can only check Google Trends, you can kind of log into some API that Epic has. It doesn't work very well. But you can clearly see the player base on PUBG, at least on PC. You can't see Xbox or on mobile, but that really it doesn't really change much with my opinions on a downtrend because usually even PC players and stuff uh, tend to leave a game. Xbox players tend to have the same thoughts and actions and tend to leave the games at the same time just because it is the state of the game more than it is the console that you're playing on. But both these games seem to be obviously not at their peak anymore. They're not at the top of the game, obviously, we could see a difference when the two big, big AAA and Battle Royale games that are releasing in October, we have Battlefield V Battle Royale, and we also have the Call of Duty Blackout. And I think if these aren't done right, one, they're not going to dethrone Fortnite and PUBG if they're not done correctly. Two, they're just going to send more players back to PUBG and Fortnite because all of these players on console not even thinking about Fortnite or not even thinking about PUBG might actually try the Call of Duty Battle Royale, like the concept of Battle Royale, but they want something better. And that's why I keep going back to what I said before, the only way Battle Royale games will ever die is if they stop releasing them. Fortnite and PUBG will stop gaining fan base if that does happen. Of course, there are updates and things that can bring new players back, or old players back for that matter, but I think how this is going to die is obviously dethroning them with a new type of game versus all of these other developers dumping their time <coughs> culling into another battle royale game so hopefully you guys enjoy the fear of the wolves beta video give me a discussion down below just thought i'd give you my thoughts on the subject right now and i'm just curious to what all you what, what you all think really so hopefully you enjoy it and i'll see you guys in it all right so we're diving back into the next beta of fear of the wolves and uh Kind of excited to see what has happened to the game since the last time I played. Obviously, you guys missed a previous episode. Then you wouldn't know what the game is. It's pretty much a post-apocalyptic battle royale game where there are these enemy wolves that are falling around. All of these different squares, the orange ones, actually have radiation. You need to get a radiation suit in order to enter into most of those places. So to be extra cautious, this is uh, co-developed by a bunch of stalker devs. Which is pretty cool. It's got a lot of stalker elements. They have the uh, the different varying radiation levels. They have the uh, if you guys remember stalker, that is, they have the uh, the ways of checking if there's an anomaly in front of you, like those circle things. And uh, clearly, I can tell right now, I don't have much control over this at all. So we're gonna try to get to this roof here. Maybe find something decent and hold the high ground. There we go. I think it could be worse. Could definitely be worse. Alright, anything on top of the roof here? There's some wolves down there. See a guy up there. Hit him a few times. Come on, buddy. Let's 
Is he going to just heal, or what's he going to do? Is there a back door? I don't believe so. You can hold your breath with any gun. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's new. I think I'm just going to push him. Got him. I heard another guy kind of close. Oh, we're out of ammo. This guy had a freaking... AR and everything. Alright. Not bad. We're gonna push this guy real quick. Oh. Got him as well. Who's next? Really think they need to add lean to this game. They also need to have a little bit more customization on the sensitivity. Oh, he's on the roof. In this game, also, the circle is not a circle. It's actually a whole bunch of... Grids that different close at different times. And of course there is weather that is voted on by the dead players. So that's also another really cool thing that can happen. They can close circles, they can call in radiation storms, fog, and which you guys just saw. The new weather event there. This is one of the Battle Royale games that I think actually has a chance at success. So I'm hoping that they are successful because they have a lot of cool things going for them. And they have at least some original ideas. But they do need more and more original ideas to branch themselves out as much as they possibly can from games like PUBG and a few others. So, Whoops. I just exposed myself ever so slightly. I'll go up on the rock side here and look down. We don't have any armor or anything, no helmet or anything, so we gotta be very careful in our decision making. This fog is really gonna help this guy as well, stay undercover very well. I'm silhouetting up here, like an idiot. Right, they're still fighting down there. Let's see if we can't get back into the action. Actually, I haven't been in here before. Whoa. It's already looted? Seems like it may be. There's a dog to my right. Let's get the high ground again. This fog is intense, dude. Another guy up here, of course who has a lot more gear than I have, to say the least. Gee whiz. Let's drink some vodka. Pop that one down. Hopefully get some HP back. Pistol suppressor. I can't see anybody with this fog. Holy crap. Wish I had my Uzi out there. Probably would have killed them a little bit quicker and lost a lot less HP. i try to avoid that horde of dogs there. Maybe just head out now. Do have some grids closing in the center. And I do need meds. I think I got a decent amount of kills to start off the video for now. Unfortunately, most of the popularity of these games actually does come from the streamers playing it. Uh, the top streamers. Everybody knows who the top Battle Royale streamers are. Um, and it mainly comes off of them. So you got to make a game that appeals to them more than the most popular ones, as we discussed before, like Fortnite, PUBG, and a handful of others. And it's really hard to make a game that does appeal over those two other games, because they're already so heavily established. 
It's like, what separates you from the pack that would make someone want to play this over something like PUBG? So, um, Adrenaline Infection. I don't know what that's going to do. It's also a vehicle here. But you know what I mean? That's the problem with most Battle Royale games right now. It's just the popularity contest. There's an anomaly right there I was talking about before. Don't want to step into that bad boy. There's another one right next to me. I'm not really looking like there's too much for... There's a lot of freaking radiation here. I can tell you that. I'm holding my Uzi out. I feel like it's probably best for like a quick action. Like if I had that guy on the steps with the Uzi, I probably would have killed him a little bit quicker. Level 1 for level 3. No thank you. We actually have really good armor. We're slowly regaining HP, which is nice. Anti-rads. Nice. Reduce medicine food effects. Reduce breath duration. Reduce visibility during anomaly. You okay. Alright, let's take this car and let's go... Oh jeez, I don't really even know where I want to go. Just go up here to this smaller area up here. And like I said, these are all uh, things that are voted on by the dead players, so... Oh, great. I gotta get out of here. Oh! Oh god. We're going back to Coral God, which is absolutely just a bad idea. But we do need to get out of here, because we are getting radiated by the circle, or the square for that matter. Quickly, anti-rad. Don't go into the water. Stop sliding! I keep letting go of the click. Uh, oh god. There we go. Anti-radded for a little bit. It looks looted. We'll keep moving. Oh god, we really gotta head uh, north, I think. We're gonna get blocked out pretty soon. I think it's gonna end north west, so. Is that a car behind me, or is that just like background noise? Because if we get blocked out in this southern section and it ends northern, we are screwed. Break through the fence, please. There's actually a dude here. I saw him running through the fields. I don't see him immediately now. Where is he? Was he running back to Quora God? No eyes spotted on him. But I know he's around here somewhere. Is he running around in town, maybe? Maybe grabbing my vehicle? I'm getting stupidly aggressive right here. I don't see him anywhere. We're going to hit this vodka back, get a little bit of that last HP back. That world event bonus is gone. So. Lucky on that front.
Uzi, not a good weapon. And we're out of AR ammo. He's almost dead. That's why he's running. Airdrop coming in. Where are you, bastard? Low HP. He's gotta be. This Uzi is really bad. But I know he's gotta be low HP. It's gotta be. Gotta be almost dead. Get an aggro now. Alright, give me your ammo. Level 3, level 2 helmet, level 2 respirator, an AK? Eh. Really helped me much. Oh, actually, we need to take that AK. Alright. We need to keep moving north as much as we can. I'm not taking that vehicle again. It kind of exposed me. I didn't see it. Actually, I gotta go back and see if he has meds. I think he used most of them while I was fighting him. Probably. Just gonna assume that. Yeah, he's got no meds. Alright. Let's keep on moving. That was a fight and a half because I had to fight him with a dumb Uzi. Dude, that gun had zero accuracy. It's absolutely insane. What does he have? Okay, not a bad scope. I'll definitely take it. I think you run a little bit faster with these weapons out. I'm not completely sure, though. Hoping so. If it ends in that southern section, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I mean, there's not much we can do. We don't have anti-rads, we don't have meds, we don't got anything, so. So, I mean, Uzi close range. Not bad, though. I mean, I did shred him a lot. Even, even at medium long range, it wasn't good at all, but I was still hitting him. I bet there's some bullet drop off probably with an SMG or something at that range. That's probably what was causing most of our situation. I kind of want to loot this town here and just see maybe if we can't find at least some meds to hold us over. At the very least. The Uzi, I'm going to actually hold on to just mainly for the part of close range combat. I've never been a shotgunner. I've been more of a, always been more of a spray and prayer. <laughs> I can shoot accurately if I actually could control my sensitivity better in the game. But without that accuracy, really not too much point in me shotgunning. I think he's in the tower. Yeah, he's in the tower. See if we can get him through the window. Okay. Thought I saw someone up there as well. What was that? An axe? I mean, sure. Why not? Was that the tower guy, though? I'm gonna assume it was, and he just went full aggro. I wanna... Really go back and check his ammo. This could lead to my death, though. Made a lot of noise, 13 remaining.
Oh my god, wolf. Oh. My goodness. Okay. That scared the crap out of me. I thought it was a person rolling up on me. Alright, I grabbed the AR ammo, but it wasn't for the AK. It was for an M16. He didn't have much of it, so there's no point in switching. Oh god. Another wolf. <sighs> I mean, it's gotta end somewhere in this general region, so... Let's take a bush and kinda play a little bit of the waiting game. If we start running to any other area now, we're just gonna end up getting cut off, so... Preparing for evacuation. That's where the helicopter comes in and somebody needs to jump on it and escape. That's how you win in this battle rail. Again, just another unique aspect of this game and that's why I'm here playing it. I wish it was toggle crouch because I have to uncrouch. Is that where the helicopter is going to end up? Airdrop right there. I don't know if that's where the helicopter is going to end up or if that's where it is right now. I'm assuming that's where it's going to end up, but you'd be careful because when you jump on the helicopter and start heading up that rope, you are a open target. It's pretty much field day at that point. So we need to play it smart, play it cautious as much as we can. I go around the side and maybe hit up the, that small village. Right next to it. Maybe that'll have vision. Or we're just going to get shot in the butt. Before we have much opportunity to even get close, so. All eight players remaining will be in this area. Evacuation started. Alright, keep moving. Don't let him up that rope. I swear to God, if somebody's already there going up that rope and nobody's there to shoot him. Oh, I got killed by another player. We traded there. Oh, it was a good game though. Gee whiz. If I didn't have to kill those wolves, I don't think I would have exposed myself as much. So in this battle royale as well, in solos, once you die, you can spectate the remaining players. Of course, you can see these are the votes up top that I was talking about earlier. The next vote is going to be weather. There is Dino, G-String, and Gunslinger. Uh, it seems like this guy's upvoted once already. I'm not sure why. I'm trying to see, like, kind of what the meta is. I, I feel like I, my long-range scope was a little... Oh, my long-range scope was a little too high. This dude's got, like, grenades and everything. Oh, he just got pwned by J-String Base. Is Gunslinger just escaping right now without anybody knowing? Oh, he's got a sniper rifle. He's heading towards it, though. And you can see on the map, they're purple there. Ooh, so we get to change it now. I'm going to go with Storm. You want to storm the heck out of it, dude. Make sure this is just harder for them to see each other. So I believe this is G-String over here, if I'm correct. And... He's just doing his thing. Oh no, it's not. So I don't know what that... I, maybe that's an airdrop? I'm not sure, but they're like located here and here. They're looting each other now. I kind of have my... My votes on uh, Gunslinger here. Because he's got the long-ranged, I believe, FAL. And in more than likely scenario, he's going to snipe this dude. Or this guy's going to go right for the extraction. Unfortunately, that smoke around the extraction point is pretty crazy. So you gotta be very cautious of that. Well, he's just going straight in for it. I think G-String's actually gonna have the advantage now. Depending on what he's doing. Oh, they're both going in on it. Uh-oh. But it's Uzi versus FAL, long-range scope, so... Come on, G-String, I believe in you. They're like face-to-face -face at this point in the smoke. They don't see each other. He's just going to go right for it. Wow. Okay. You don't win automatically, you know. Watch. So he's going to be going up this rope. 
And Gunslinger here is just gonna shoot him on his way up. He can't see him because of the smoke, but... He'll do it. That's it, see? Right now. Oh, he's potatoing. Oh, he potatoed. He ran out of ammo! He ran out of ammo! He did it! <laughs> he's not! <laughs> of course, those are the last players, and I have to- Me and the god- Me and the guys that are actually decent left in the game traded kills. That was funny. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.